Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is August 24th, 2020. This is my 29th episode about vector calculus and classical electromagnetism. In this episode, we will learn how to create QT custom widget and we will learn about central widget and how to use set central widget member function. If you are absolutely new to GUI application programming, Qt Toolkit can be quite challenging. In this video, install Qt on Windows for the first time. In C++ GUI programming using Qt on Windows for the first time. In this series of video, I filmed 11 videos. Through 11 videos, I tried to explain the fundamentals. When I filmed this series of videos, I actually did not know anything about Qt programming. I read first two chapters of this book while I filming this video. I believe this is the best book on Qt toolkit. I am also reading advanced Qt programming this book. I recently purchased Game Programming Using Qt5 Beginner's Guide So, in this book, there is no review But I found this is very good, really good for Qt5 If you are beginner, you don't need to learn game programming using Qt5 But still, this book is really good to learn about Qt5 I highly recommend you this book I purchased this book because this book is relatively thick, 714 pages. I also purchased this book, Mastering Qt5, but I don't think this book is very good. I think this book is much better than Mastering Qt5. Without further ado, let's get started. Start Visual Studio, go to File, New, Project, search box qt qt widget application please select this template click next click browse button in your working folder new folder 029 custom widgets hit enter select the folder my custom widgets click create Click Next, click Next, click Finish. Right click, Properties, All Configuration, General, C++ Language Standard, Preview Feature from the latest C++ Working Draft. Click Apply, C++, General, click this button, Edit, click this button, Dollar, include, hit enter. Your path should be resolved like this. Click this button, percent, XML, documentation, file name. Hit enter. This macro is defined. X64 debug. So it should be UIC. Hit enter, click OK, click OK. Now press Ctrl F5. Your program should build successfully. Now in class view, if class view is not listed here, then from view, select class view. Click this button. We can find my custom widget class. In the Solution Explorer, right click, add, add a Qt class. Select Qt widget class. My graphics, click add. Click next, accept or default. Click finish. In class view, we created my graphics class like this. We will add one more. Right click, 
add Qt class Qt widget class my Python editor click add click next click finish now right click compile right click compile in the resource right click compile so we basically have one ui file two ui file three ui files right click add new filter generated headers hit enter right click add existing item x64 debug uic select all add these header files are generated now press ctrl f5 now close it now close all files close all tabs now home files my graphic.ui this will be graphic editor or graphic viewer graphic view right click layout layout horizontally now save it close it double click this file label drag and drop line edit drag and drop make it a little bit bigger click this one object name label function you can double click the label function now edit edit for this click drag edit edit widget click this one object name line edit function arguments hit enter select to right click layout horizontal layout save text text edit object name text edit python code label drag and drop double click it result push button drag and drop push button run double click it run line edit drag and drop line edit result save edit edit for this click drag and connect edit edit wizard select right click layout horizontally now select all three layout layout vertically now select in the blank space layout horizontally now save it now close it in the solution explorer right click 
revealed. Whenever we change .ui form files, we have to rebuild to regenerate these header files. My custom widget .h, this is our main application class widget. This is for graphic editor. This is for Python code editor. In the source file, my custom widget .hpp, here include code my graphic .h include code my Python editor include QHbox layout here QHbox layout layout new QHbox layout we created an instance of layout layout add widget we are adding my graph widget new my graph widget layout add widget new my python editor layout now ui central widget set layout layout now press ctrl f5 so this is our application open it also open it in this application this part is my python editor and this part is my graphics widget in this episode we learned how to create custom widget and how to use horizontal box layout and use central widget to set layout in future episode we will learn more about custom widget